We're out at the uh, Center for Emergency Preparedness at the Owens Community College campus. We've got uh, two emergency medicine programs, St. Vincent Mercy Medical Center residents as well as UTMC residents. So we've invited a lot of different agencies here today to help us out and teach these residents what exactly goes on so they can have a good appreciation of that when patients come into the emergency department. So behind us, as you can see, uh, we've got some uh, automobiles that were donated to us to take apart and use the jaws of life, let the residents experience what it's like to take apart a car. It shows them what uh, the EMS and fire folks go to to extricate patients that come into the emergency department. We've invited Life Flight uh, from Mercy here to give them a rundown of helicopter operations as well as ProMedica Air. Both of them were here today showing the residents exactly what goes on when they go to a scene or uh, they do an interfacility transport. We've got fire department showing them what they do to put out fires and letting them spray hoses to show them exactly the forces that are involved in actually carrying and handling a fire hose. The ladder truck is here so that they can experience climbing up the ladder and being elevated to that height to see what they experience as far as uh, putting out fires in a, in a large structure. Additionally, we have some folks out here from Toledo Fire and Mercy Hazmat doing some uh, hazardous materials deconning. So they're putting on the suits and getting to know what it's like to don and doff the equipment so that they can uh, appreciate and uh, be ready for the case that we have at a disaster and they need to do that. I think it's so important that we maintain this excellent relationship with Owens Community College and the Center for Emergency Preparedness. We're so fortunate to be able to use the facility to run this drill. It's set up perfectly for what we need and we can get all the agencies out here. We can run all the evolutions and drills that we need to on this day. It's an amazing facility that we're just so fortunate to be able to have access to and we can't thank the folks at Owens enough for letting us use the facility.